Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make s'mores. But we're not going to make a regular s'more that takes uh, toasted marshmallows and chunks of chocolate and sandwiches it together with two graham crackers. We're going to make s'mores in bar form. And this, uh, to do this, we're going to have a graham cracker uh, crust and you bake that until golden brown and firm. And then we're going to sprinkle miniature marshmallows and chocolate chips over the top and then put it back in the oven and just bake it until the chocolate starts to melt and the marshmallows become all soft and caramelized. These are really good. They're soft and chewy and sweet and the kids will just love them. So to begin, we got Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 180 degrees Celsius. And then you'll need an 8 by 8 inch uh, square pan, that's 20 by 20 uh, centimeters. And we need to line the uh, pan with a piece of aluminum and foil, which I've done here. Now, an easy way, a little trick that I've learned to um, line a pan with aluminum and foil is to turn your, take a, your pan, turn it over, and then get a piece of aluminum and foil and then just form it to the outside of your pan. Because as you know, it's kind of hard to just take a piece of aluminum foil and try to stuff it into the inside. So this way, you're getting the really nice form. And then just take it off, as you can see. It's now the form of your pan. And then you can just fit it in and, it, uh, and it's not too wrinkled and you don't rip the aluminum and foil. So that's, uh, so once that's done, the first thing we need to do is make the graham cracker crust. Really simple to make. You just take one and a half cups, that's 150 grams of graham crackers that have been crushed. And you can either buy the crumbs or you can take the whole graham crackers and just put them in your food processor and process them until they're really finely ground. And if you don't want to use graham crackers, you could also take digestive biscuits and then just uh, crush those. That's really good as well. And then to the graham crackers, I'm going to add two tablespoons. That's 25 grams of granulated white sugar, just to sweeten up the um, graham crackers a bit. I'm just going to mix that together. And then about six tablespoons, that's about 85 grams of unsalted or salted butter. Just melt that and then cool it a little. Now I don't usually put all the melted butter in at once because depending on the graham crackers, how fresh they are or how a little old, you might have to vary the amount of butter. So you just want them all moistened. So just kind of I just opened a new package of graham crackers, so these are really fresh. So I might not need as much butter as if they were a little old. I'm just going to add a touch more. You can see they're all moistened. You can just kind of press them together and if they're together you'll know it's enough now the Girl Scouts are credited with uh, inventing this this s'more which makes sense because we normally associate a s'more with camping and then okay so just take your pan and just pour that in there and then we want to um, firmly press the graham crackers into the bottom of the pan. You could use the back of a spoon, you could use your hands, you could use like the, the back of this measuring cup, which I'll do in the next. We want to make sure that's really packed down so we have a nice solid layer to hold all those chocolate chips and marshmallows. We like our s'mores so much here in America that we've, uh, August 10th is National S'more Day, if you follow the food holidays.
The name s'more comes from the fact that um, people were said to have, uh, once they tasted one of these, they said, I want some more, which then got shortened to s'mores. If you like a little trivia there. Okay, so you see this really, if you use the back of a cup like this, it really kind of compacts the graham cracker so that when it bakes, it really gets a nice solid layer, which is what we want. Okay, so that's it. So we're going to put this in the oven for about 10 minutes or until golden brown and it's set. So our graham cracker crust is baked until it's nice golden brown. And then what we're going to do is take two cups, that's about 130 grams of miniature marshmallows, and one cup, about 170 grams of chocolate chips. Now you can use the semi-sweet, you could use milk chocolate, you could use bittersweet, whatever you like. And then all you need to do is just sprinkle, try to evenly sprinkle the marshmallows and the chocolate chips over the top. Your kids will be very happy if you make them a batch of these. And they store really well. So we don't have to just wait until we camp to have these. Now, if you made some homemade marshmallows, you could uh, just cut them up into small pieces and uh, use those as well. Now, if you do use the homemade marshmallows, you will notice that when you put it back in the oven, they will really melt become like almost a solid layer of marshmallow but just as good and then I'm just using some chocolate chips small little ones here you can use any size sprinkle the top press it down Okay, looks good. So I'm just going to pop this back in the oven for about 10 minutes, just until the chocolate starts to melt and the marshmallows become all soft and caramelized, lightly brown on top. Okay, our s'mores are done. Don't they look good? The uh, marshmallows have become all puffed and started to turn golden brown and the chocolate chips are kind of all melting together. And now, I know you're going to be tempted, but you have to resist cutting into these right away because they'll be too soft and they'll kind of all fall apart. You have to let them cool for probably a couple hours until everything has time to firm up. And then what you do, it's really quite simple. Just take the ends of your foil and then you just lift them out of the pan and cut them into squares. But everything's got to be really firmed up before you can do that or, or the graham cracker crust will just kind of fall away. So you can uh, cover and store these for several days at room temperature. The kids are going to love them. So until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Mm -hmm.